everyone, this is CJ Novo992 and today we're back for another brand new video. As you can tell by that title, it's time to discuss Rangers versus Celtic, Celtic versus Rangers. The one where we really had to give our go because we've been battered all season, we got battered out of cup. This was the one to stop them winning the title against us. Remember the passion, the effort, oh they've going to learn their mistakes for the semi-final. Yeah, it's this one, we're back at it and guess what, it says fan rant because we got pumped again. 5-0 this time, you remember how badly we played in the semi-final, right, with the effort, just non-existent, spineless, cowards, absolute bad, remember remember that semi-final, aye, somehow we managed to play worse than that, I don't know how, all credit to us, because every single one of them was a ghost today, bar one player, and that was the goalkeeper, do you know how bad you've got to play to get beat 5-0, and your goalkeeper's the man of the match, and your best player on the day? That is just next level shitness for Spineless FC. And before we start talking about Spineless FC, that is the players, the manager and the board, because they're all going to get discussed today, because they're all connected. Shit runs down hill. And that's what we just saw the day. I know all the dog's abuse I'm going to receive for this video it happens every single time, all the abuse and all the shit. So if you're enjoying these videos or anything like that, I'd greatly appreciate any support that you could definitely do down below. And we get moving on. Uh, Celtic, really quickly again, just before we start rinsing the Rangers players and stuff like that, I just want to say they played a good, solid game. Passed the bit. They played, in fact, they played really well. Let's just let's just be fucking fair. They battered us off the park. They showed what actual true effort looks like. They clearly wanted to win the day, and they did. They just passed that boot us. They attacked us, and they even took the fucking foot off the gas at one point, uh, just to keep it at 5-0. It genuinely could have been mere. Let's start talking about the players, shall we? This should be fun. And it, again, you're the only one that gets the pass mark, mate. You played an absolute blinder. I think even any football fan that's watching this that doesn't necessarily support Rangers will say that he stopped it for being a cricket score because it could have been a lot worse. So, Anik, we round the applause. The rest of these, where the fuck were you? Just where were you? You put all these stupid inspirational messages up on all your social medias. This is it, blah, 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 on the next week, on the next week. Where is the effort? Scott Brown goes about and says he's won a psychological battle before they even go into games, and it's so obvious, and it's so right. And I hate saying that about Scott Brown, but he's so right. Like they've gone into these games, and we keep doing the same silly mistake. I know we've got an absolute fud as a manager, right? It doesn't care what he's doing. Before the even game starts, he's saying, I've got nothing to prove. I just stand at the sidelines. It's the players that needs to do it. No. You've got Sonny Prudge, you're the fucking Rangers manager, Marty. Or you shouldn't be, actually. By the time this uploads, you better be fired or you better have resigned. Just do the right thing and resign. For the love of God. If you care about this club at all, stop dragging it down. Now, back to the psychological battle, really quickly as I ex explain what I mean by this. We had an opportunity to cut the gap to three points at the top of the league at home. I know they had a game in hand, but three points at home. We played a very good game, we attacked them, blah, blah, blah. We lost 3-2 against 10 men because Brendan made the right substitution and made a tactical tweak. Our manager bit his zipper, right? That's what happened there, right? Now, roll on six weeks later, we're getting pumped at cups by them. We're getting pumped in the league and they're lifting the title against us, winning 5 none. Where we get two shots on targets and that's been generous. We got absolutely battered in the match. We started slow. We invited them in. Like, oh, do you want to come in? Do you want me to bend there for you? Oh, touch the ankles. Whoop, whoop. That's what we've done again. Before it even, like, soon as the kickoff actually went off. We just sat back again. What did Marty learn? What did these players do? What's Jimmy Nickel know saying? Listen, you're fucking starting us the same way again. Pathetic Rangers. Cowardly. Spineless. So let's actually talk about the tactics and the formations and everything heart really quickly. We played a 4-2-3-1. Yeah, the same formation, we just keep getting fisted in, but we keep doing it. Do you know what the tactical changes were for the 4-0 the, the loss in the semi-final? <laughs> Absolutely none. No, no. We just welcomed them in and bent air for them once again. Yep. No pressure, no doubling up at wing, forcing them in the middle, no pinning them back, no playing two up front, and forcing them to pass the ball quickly. Nothing like that. Nothing. Well done, Marty. And well done, board. Do you know what's funny about the board, right? I've not got any bias or any agendas or anything. I just say what I see. Like, people don't contact me or anything. I don't give a shit about, right? Alistair Johnson, for the Rangers board, had the audacity to say we're ahead of the curve. In the last two seasons against Celtic, we've conceded mere goals 
against them than we did in the entire Walter Smith run of the 90s. How fucking embarrassing is that? And they've got the audacity to say that we're ahead of the curve and progress is getting made. Let's do a little rapid fire review of the players that played today. We ready? Anik, good. Tavernier, where's the captain? Ross McCrory, again shite. Martin, shite. Halliday, started off pretty well and then fell away, became shite. Holt, non existent. Graham Dorrance, was he playing? Tendias, Again, against Celtic, mate, you just didn't turn up. How many times are you just going to run out wide and just hit a low, shitty ball across the box? Come on! Windass, nobody knew he was playing. Jamie Murphy, I'm expecting so much for you, but see, in the first half, you had an opportunity. I think it was when it was 1-0 down, we had a quick counter. You tried to lift the ball out of Candace, and you hit it about 10, 15 foot under hit, and you just kicked it straight at Scott Brown. You're one of the most experienced players on the team. You're playing all these things. We spent a lot of money. You're supposed to be a Rangers man. When are you going to turn up against Celtic? When? And I'm not just digging you. I could say the same for every single one of them. But you're a Rangers man. You're supposed to get it. Why do you not play like you get it? Cummins, to be fair to him, he ran about, he tried, tracked everything down. But like I said the other day there, we can have Cristiano Ronaldo up front alone. That is not the problem. We need two up front. He picked up a booking as well because he came and nailed a Celtic player. At least he was trying to rally the boys up. A lot like Sooners and everything used to do back in the day. Come and nail, get the crowd up. Kevin Thompson spoke about that as well. But he was feeding on absolutely none. He never even got a chance to miss. Because we never created none. So I still didn't ken who should be starting him or Morelos. Honestly, I'm sort of just done there because I don't feel like repeating myself constantly. It's the same old stuff with this team. They've just, they're, they're no there. They need someone to come in, get rid of the weak link, all right? Because I back Josh Windass all the time and I stick up from, but where the fuck is he? Come on, all right? You're, you're, you're really on borrowed time now, Windass. I need you to step up, mate. I genuinely need you. There was nobody that stepped up. We had the captain there was getting turned inside out. I thought he was having a sex change. I'm just checking Twitter, by the way, to see if Murty's resigned yet. Still none. You know what's really shitty? See if you go back and look at my prediction video. I knew this was coming. Me and Sharp Dev was talking all week. We knew this was going to happen. And it still fucking hurts, honestly. I just wish they cared half as much as we cared. Because they would at least put some effort in. But none of them did. Fucking cowards. So let's jump over to the Twitter poll. Of course there's no sponsor break or anything like that. We're not having fun today. Fun's cancelled. Rangers played Celtic, everyone. Fun's cancelled. You still coming, Stevie? Hey, yeah? Got a big fucking job ahead of you, son. Right, so I said thoughts on the game. It's got 100, I think, 184 comments or something like that. So let's read out some of the comments and see what people are saying. Louis at Gorgeous Giroud 8. We actually said at some stage this season we thought we'd win the league. SNP dot out at Monday High said Captain Tavay, never a Rangers captain. Doran's the biggest hider since Nicky Law. Windass, a decent striker at best. Number 10. No, haha, <laughs> Murray out of his depth months ago, completely agree mate with that. Ben at Ben, RFC 1872, shite, if you look at the fact we could potentially finish fourth, that doesn't make us just as bad as if it's worse than last season mate, big clear out needed. Kevin Wakeham says, I feel physically sick from watching that, let's put it that way. Yeah, that makes two of us buddy. Yeah, but don't worry, they'll be at their awards show tonight, picking up their awards, drinking champagne and everything like that, loving life, being Rangers fans, walking about with their big suits and everything on, eh? Fucking frauds. Callum Stewart said, showed more fight and passion, but simply not good enough. I don't think they did. No, I'm not going to give them that. They did, not So what, they gave 22 fouls away. There was only one foul that actually got fucking stuck in, and that was Jason Cummins. All of were wee tippy-tappy, tippy-tappy. Our first goal that we conceded, Candace just lets Tierney skin him. We have two Rangers players on Kieran Tierney, right? We have two players on Kieran Tierney, Candace and I think Tav, and he just, he skips, skips, Candace just, then it's no touching my hands. He's not going to touch his hand, he's going to beat you. He just shows him inside, runs in, Martin Sleen, tap in, bang. Second goal, give the ball stupidly in the middle of the park, Doris just gives it away, 10, 15 yards. That is stupidity by the players. That's no passion or effort in my opinion. That's kind of be fucking arsed waiting to the end of the season syndrome. But thanks for saying that in, Cal. Uh, Ross Watson said, absolute awful. Up there with the worst games ever. Candace, worst game in a Rangers shot. And it was decent despite the goals. Uh, Johnny Curry says, I'm fucking spewing. Wait to the end to see if the players would come over. And they stood at the, ha the hacking halfway line. I think he's trying not to swear there. They bastards generally don't deserve to play for us. L Larson son says, can we play you every week? 
Stewart says, embarrassing mate, spineless. Cape Town Bears basically calls him a wanker. Gravy Stock says, people saying words can't describe today. Here are just some few, here are just a few from me. Dreadful, awful, appalling, horrific, horrendous, horrible, atrocious, heartless, frightful, fearful, shocking, hideous, ghastly, grim, dire, unspeakable, gruesome, sickening, distressing, excruciating to watch. You're getting retweeted live. I think even the sun just fucking disappeared. Oh, for f... Ewan McKenzie said, just fuck off, Rangers, embarrassing. Rangers FC's 1972, shite and embarrassing. Anik was man of the match, what does that say? Yeah. Geo says, no words to describe how bad that was. Chris Graham says, no, nah, I'm not going to read that out, buddy. I'm sorry you're feeling that way. Um... Gareth says, same shite, different day against them. Looked like they weren't any tactics, but chasing Charles. Fourth place looks realistic now. Makes you think, are we better than last year? Complete overhaul needed, including the sham of the formation. Last one that I'll read out. Ian McDougall says, we did nothing and deserved nothing. We can't even get a game out of them with a new manager on the horizon. Scandalous from the management team to the guys in the pitch on the back up the board. I feel... I can't even read the rest out, mate. It's just fucking, honestly, it's depressing. Tony Wilson says, you shouldn't do a video, bro. Just watch the Goonies or something. You can't do that, man. I mean, if, if we won the game, I'd be up here ripping the piss at them. As much as I didn't want to make a video and I didn't want to be here just now, that's why I didn't rush the video out. Like other guys, that's why I didn't just make videos when we play Celtic for the views and the money. I backed them. I make videos every week. And you know what? When we lose, you just got to stand up and say we follow on. And you just got to be brave enough to take it. I'll get Doug's abuse for this video. I get it. I take it on the chin and we roll on. Uh, David Toner says embarrassing. Stevie Brown, last one I'll read out, mate, just because you're a channel legend. Come on, mate. What can you say? There's not been said before. It's like watching repeats of same old shit. That has been today's video. I've obviously been CJ Novo 92. Thank you for watching and bye bye. <laughs>